like they don't know. Now you know. COS, you know what I'm saying? What's going on, man? Welcome to another episode of Walk with Marky. Here with Dion Burton, aka I Can Be Your Barber. What's up, man? What's going on, man? Nice to have you on the show, bro. Man, nothing much, nothing much, man. I'm glad to be on your show, too. Yeah, man. Hey, tell the folks, hit the subscribe, and tell the folks where they can find you on all your social media platforms. Uh, you can find me on uh, Facebook at Dion Mellow Man Burton. You can find me on IG. I can be your barber. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You heard my man first. Hey, get my man on IG. He he a fake like no other. Uh, we're going to the, we're gonna start the episode off and go ahead and get into it. Man, what made you want to be a barber? Um, just a lot of inspiration. My my auntie, she was a beautician. She had her own shop on Walnut called a uh, Cat's Beauty Shop, and man, that really inspired me when I was a young kid, and it really driven me to be my own one day as I am now. And I like I love it. I like being a barber. I like helping people. I like putting smiles on people's faces. I like seeing them really happy and just showing that gratitude of my services. That's all what it's all about, man. Uh, touch back with me, man. Now you said uh, your people was uh, cats on water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So you are someone had that somewhat instilled in you, you know, with the going back on what you say. I already know I can work for myself and you can hustle on. Right. Then you know you can please clients you one on one with clients. This is an atmosphere like no other when you come to this uh, beautician barber barber stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a lot to go into it. You gotta you gotta put a lot of dedication a lot of uh, ambition into it you gotta really want to do it you can't just jump into it and make money you gotta really want to do it and be skillful in it and really show people what you can do and really give people a great service right right and that's the main thing especially when it comes to something like this so one-on-one -on -one, so you know like you finna cut my hair you finna get me together or you not finna get me together but in my man case, he gonna always get you together. Don't you? Don't you worry about that. Yeah, I'm gonna get you together. Just come see me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, he up here at Talia's Beauty, man. Y'all better uh, uh, lock in with your boy, man. You know what I mean? We are gonna get on to the next question. Next question I got to ask, you, man. Who in your family, you know, uh, supported you, man? Told you keep going on with. Man, my my dad, my sisters and brothers, uh, cousins. I just got a lot of inspiration around me that just keeps me going, keep me pushing, like my kids. And um, just everything that I do, I, I just do it for my family, mainly. Yeah, yeah, that's always it, man. Do it for your family. You want to always do things right, do things first. Keep family first, everything else going to follow. Uh, next question I really want to get into with you after that question. Like I said, I just asked you, who, you know, who's your biggest influence? Now, what was the person that always told you something positive? The person that you could always look back on the line when things was going bad? Man, my dad, man, he's a big inspiration in my life. He he really keeps me going. He he keeps me pushing and going in different directions. And uh, I never look back or I never stop because everything he has taught me has pushed me forward into being a better man. Big shout out to pops, man. Big shout out to pops, man. Real real deal. Uh, next question, I see. I see you got that uh, Tupac shirt on, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into it, man. Yeah, man, hit him up. Uh, <laughs> It's Big Year Tupac. It's, it's Big Year Tupac, man. Man, I like Tupac. All right, Tupac. You, you heard what he said. Hit him up. So he he, he took that all the way. There. I like I like Biggie too. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna discriminate on Biggie. I like I like both of them, but at the same time I like the poeticness about Tupac, and I really like the wordplay of Biggie. But if I had to choose one, it'd have to be Tupac. Yeah, that Biggie wordplay is something nice. But that the, the the way Tupac come with the chemistry, the flow, and then like you say, the poetic. It was poetic. It's like man, you don't realize it's poetic till you yeah. put the visual out and you be like, oh, buddy, really put thought to everything. Yeah, he paints visual pictures. Yeah, you know, if you got a vivid imagination, you can hear it in the song. But yeah. by the time you put that on on video, you be like, whoa, okay, this is really next level. So yeah, that's that's a real thing here, uh, man. Uh, next question I want to get along with and ask you is. Bro, how is it cutting her in Evansville compared to cutting her somewhere outside of Evansville? Man, it's a way different demographic. Like, you have to really be prepared to go into a whole nother state and a whole nother city to cut hair when you leave here because there's so many standards that people want you to reach and um, so many obstacles you're going to go through, too, that's different than here. And you really have to, like, show showcase a lot of things that... You probably wouldn't normally have to showcase here because it's a bigger city 
and they want you to be on your your top, like the top, like a a list type. And you gotta keep pushing, and you just gotta be better. Like it makes you better all together. And also, like uh, when you outside outside of the city and the demographic, they expect you to be top shelf. If you cut the Chinese dude with her. Black hair, white hair, everybody. Be, it don't matter if he come in the church, fade him. Yeah, he's, he's supposed to get it. We gotta put in that work. So that's that's another thing, man. Uh, based on that same question, let me get back to you, man. How's the pricing go? How's the flow chart between Evansville and somewhere else? Man, the flow chart is crazy. Like it was it since Evansville is a smaller city, it's really lower versus a big city. The big city is higher because they have more people and it just. The quality is, is a little higher there too, so that, that's what makes the prices a little higher. Right, right. Uh, along with that, man, the quality, that makes things higher. Now, let's go ahead and get into the nitty gritty. Let's talk about the stuff you keep in your barber bag. What you keep in your barber bag, man? I mean, I keep some other. Or is it, is it a bag or is, or is it one of those tool buckets? It's is a it bag. A tool I, keep, I keep a bag. It's a backpack. Um, I, keep, I keep some uh, wall magic clips on me. I like uh, Andis Masters. I keep um, TL liners, and um, I bounce back from Andis and Walls. But if I had to pick my best barber brand, it'd be it'd be Andis. Andis, okay. You heard what he said, man. A man of the people. Andis gonna get you all the way in the game. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. You know, behind every crispy lineup, spur the man somewhere. Don't you worry about that. Now I'm gonna get off into the next question, man. Now you a barber. How was COVID for you, man? It's, it's, we, we coming at the tail end of COVID. How was COVID for you? COVID changed a lot for me because I had to learn how to operate in different ways and challenge myself. And I had to like basically stop from the shop, stop cutting at the shop and start going around and making house calls. And um, just everything that, that COVID has done, like it just changed like a lot for me. And it had really has shown me different ideas and how to better my barber career. Right, right, man, you know, more diverse with certain things you do and uh, put you on the things that you would normally do. Yes, sir. Uh, so, with that, how was the house calls, man, especially during COVID? Man, they've been pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I make, I make some pretty good money. I can make between like 45 to $50 off a house call. House calls ain't bad. Yeah. House calls ain't bad. Most I ever made was probably about $70. Hey. That's, that's a good day work. Mm -hmm. it's good, it's good work. Good work. Uh, next thing I want to get off into you on the same topic as far as um, house calls and just the uh, COVID stuff. As far as barbering, bro. Was you traveling like outside the city, outside the city? Yeah, I was traveling. I, I went to uh, Atlanta. I went to uh, North Carolina. I went to uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. Uh, California. Okay, you've been a few places, yeah. so I want to butt in and get on, get on to it. Yeah, y'all been years. around. <laughs> in North Carolina, you've been in Atlanta, you went to a few black hot spots. Yeah. How do they like they fade compared to how Indiana Man. like they fade? Man. How is how, how that? Because yeah. I know some places, what are you doing? It's, it's the places, lingo. It's like, this is great. It's the lingo. The lingo is different. Like, you got to know different lingos in different states because they have different variations on cuts than what you'll be used to here. Like right. a, like a fade here would be called a Caesar in somewhere like Atlanta or California. Yeah, and that's crazy too, because I remember back when I was going to school in California, I was going to school in Fresno, uh, and that's when uh, I was walking in the mall, and I was like, oh, that's the place to cut hair. But it wasn't like none of the stuff you see here, like, you know what I'm saying, the sports and yeah. none of that. Like, not seeing Putty with the Cuban, Putty with, I'm like, ah, you know how you do when you see a first barber? Look at the people in the barber chairs. Like, ah, oh, you can't bring God buddy together. Yeah, yeah that's I'm how you sit down. down. I'm gonna go ahead and sit down. And sometimes we hit you with that. Hey, no, no walk-ins or you know, appointments time. Yeah, you. they're walking. It's a mall. Appointments keep you. Time. Appointments keep you organized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was big on appointments, but he, how he said, he said, I'm big on appointments. But since I work in the mall and I can catch people walking through. The first three chairs is appointment chairs. That last chair is walk in on me. Yeah. I was like, okay, and it's like it's our rook, but it can help him get it together anyway. Mm -hmm. If he get it together, he'll just move down the line. I don't want everybody in my shop to stay in my shop. Once you get out of my shop, go get your own shop. Right. I was like, oh, okay, okay, but yeah. It's all about the growth. 
Yeah, it was the uh, the same thing like we touched back on with that. Man, a uh, uh, failure is a seize of somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And that sometimes that just people just don't think, think that's how that works. But when you go out of town, it's a lot of different verbiage and lingo, like you said, you're like, yo. So, <laughs> <you know that. laughs> yeah, especially when you sit right there, it ain't no, I can think about all the animosity and pressure on the barber. Cutting yeah, her life. Yeah. Yeah, somebody was trusting you with their head, yeah. with their look, yeah, with true. their style, with everything. That's a lot of trust. Everything they put together is based off what you do in this next hour and a half. Yeah, it really is. Because it's your fade right, you're getting some fresh, fresh, fresh fit for the clothes. Yeah. If it's your fade right, I gotta do this. Fade ain't right, like, okay, hold on, something, something's up. But, the next question I got to ask you on top of that, man, how do you feel and what do you got looking forward, man? What you, what you got planned out for yourself? Man, I wanna, I wanna eventually get my own shop. Um, I wanna make my own merch soon. Um, yeah, that's gonna come out soon. My own, I can be a barber merch. Uh, you heard that? I can be a barber merch coming soon. Yeah, I also want to like start doing like venture out, start doing more like hairstyles, like dreads and like color cuts and even like women's cuts, like bob cuts, asymmetrical cuts. This this different type of thing. Just put my my hands in some different things. All right, put your hands in some different bags and show the world what you can really create. Cause if your hands is good in one thing. You can stay a master of yeah. that, but, you know, be a man of many talents. When you get that in your bag, it ain't an area code that, hey, I can do it anywhere. Yeah, you can. So, so that's always one of those things to be real positive on, man. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we once hit a, once again with Deion Burke, man. Mr. I am your barber, man. Y'all give me your barber, man. Get at me. It's, it's real deal like that. My man's, I told you, my man's up here at uh, Toledo Beauty Salon, man. I come up here, get my man's name, see what's going on, let him fade you up, man. He got you like that. Uh, once again, man, I want to say thank you for coming on the show. Appreciate everything you do. And man, keep doing you, bro. Hey, but shout out. Will. Hey, girl, what are you doing? Nothing, just watching this in Milwaukee with Mark B. Have you checked out the new episode? I have it. They can burn to shit like the Army, the Navy, the Marines. You might have heard of them. You know what I'm saying? We